Governor Scott Walker facing criticism tonight over shifting positions on immigration. He's been facing questions on the issue since last week. Our political reporter, Jess Garp, has looked at his statements. She joins us live at our news center tonight. Hi, Jess. Well, hi, yeah. The most recent questions have centered on birthright citizenship or the legal right to citizenship that's granted to children born to immigrants in America under the 14th Amendment. We take a look at what the governor has said on this issue in tonight's reality check. We need to secure our border, enforce our laws. Governor Scott Walker makes immigration reform a key feature of his stump speech, but he's been facing repeated questions about his position on birthright citizenship. Yeah, I've been pretty consistent all throughout this campaign, and that is I believe we need to secure the borders, enforce the laws. I don't believe in amnesty, and I believe we need to have a legal immigration system that going forward puts a priority in American working families and their wages in a way that will improve the American economy. Consistent we find misleading. This all started last week in Iowa. The governor was asked to respond to Donald Trump's call to repeal the 14th Amendment. I think in terms of, of changing it, even Harry Reid, even Harry Reid said it's not right for a country to recognize uh, a birthright for people who've not, uh, whose families have not come in legally. But over the coming days, the governor's position shifted to no position. This was Friday in New Hampshire. Until we secure the borders and enforce the laws, any of these other things don't matter because if you're not, if people aren't willing to do that, all the rest of it becomes kind of the next step or, or next discussion out there. Then Sunday morning, he was asked about it again on ABC. So you're not seeking to repeal or, or alter the 14th Amendment? No, my, my point is any discussion that goes beyond securing the border and enforcing laws are things that should be a red flag to, to voters out there who for years have heard lip service from politicians. So what's going on here? Marquette Law Professor Charles Franklin says candidates like Trump are raising curveball issues and getting a reaction. A number of the candidates are searching for how to position themselves in the light of the Trump surge. And I think especially to position themselves to pick up Trump supporters should Trump, uh, Trump support fall down. And, of course, Donald Trump to be in Dubuque tomorrow. Now, while this issue continues to make news, Governor Walker shifted this afternoon to calling on President Obama to cancel a state visit by Chinese President Xi Jinping, telling reporters the president should, quote, have some backbone. For his part, the governor met with President Xi in 2013 as part of a Wisconsin trade mission to China. A campaign aide tells me tonight that, quote, unnecessary ceremony isn't needed, but rather economic engagement. All right, Jessica Arp in our news center tonight. Jessica, thank you.